What's up guys, uh, Heat King here, bringing you some new news on uh, Resident Evil. Well, technically it's not new news. It could be, but it might not be. So yeah, before I begin, remember to like and subscribe, please. And yeah, when you've done that, let's get right into it. So yeah, guys, uh, we are about, what, two, three weeks away from uh, the uh, Tokyo Game Show. And now we're getting some rumours saying that we're going to be getting a state of play in about two weeks' time. No idea if that's true or not. Nothing's been confirmed. You know how it is. Sony likes to wait until the very last minute to announce a state of play. Now, you've got one leaker called a lunatic Ignis, I believe, saying it's going to happen in the next two weeks. Uh, around the 19th to the 20th. And then you've got a another leaker, uh, Jeff Gobbs, I believe, saying it's going to happen at the end of the month. So properly on the 30th, probably right after Tokyo Game Show, because Tokyo Game Show is, what, from the 23rd or 24th to the 29th? So yeah, we're going to have to wait and see who's going to be right here. But now uh, some people on Twitter and that are reporting that Ignis said that Resident Evil 9 is going to be revealed at the state of play. Um, I found no such information. If it's on his Discord, I wouldn't know. I don't have a Discord. I don't use Discord, so I have no idea. But apparently he said on his Discord that RE9 is going to be revealed then. No idea if that's true. So, yeah, I mean, thinking about it, is it possible we're going to get RE9 revealed at, uh, at a potential state of play in September? I don't know. Okay, I know. It's kind of, it's kind of weird for me to say. It's like, what's the point of this video? The point is... Uh, there's a, there's, there's a possibility we're not going to get any kind of Resident Evil announcement. That, that's the point. But I'm going to try and explain why I think why I think it might not be Resident Evil 9. So here's the thing. If Resident Evil 9 gets revealed at this state of play, there's no way it's going to be coming out for January. Now, a lot of rumours are saying that, uh, you know, we're getting an RE game in January. Early January, mid-January. Well, it's going to be in January. That's the point, right? I can't see it being Resident Evil 9 because what, Capcom's going to have four months to market their next mainline title to release in early Jan. That makes no sense to me. So it can't, it can't be RE9 unless, if it is RE9, then the game's not coming out until like, say, April. You know, it gives it that good eight months to market the game and have it come out then. Maybe even May, maybe, maybe even a bit later, right? But that, that's the only way I can see it being RE9, you know, it, it, it can't come out in January. Now, say for example, we are getting an RE game that is coming out in January. It, like I said, it can't be RE9. Could it be the potential Cold Veronica remake that's been rumoured? No. And uh, the reason I say that is because apparently that's been made by the mainline team. And again, I feel like a, a remake of Cold Veronica, they'd really want to throw all their marketing at it to get people to realize, hey, this is a direct sequel to Resident Evil 2 Remake. It's starring Claire. It's bringing Chris back. It's got Wesker in it. They want to market this game because this game is literally the sequel to RE2 and RE1 and it's the lead up to RE5. So I feel like that's that would be a big, huge game to market. And, and having that revealed in September and coming out in January makes no sense to me. So then what potential RE game could it be that they could talk that they, that could be revealed for release in January, right? It's RE Zero, and the reason for that is is because again, if the rumors are true, RE Zero is being made by the side team. Okay, it's being made by the team that did RE Three Remake. And if you guys remember, RE Three Remake was revealed in December. It was announced in December of I believe uh, 2019, and it was released four months after in April 2020. So it could be the same situation here where, you know, the more low quality game is revealed for an early release in January. So that's very, very possible it could be that game. Now, the reason it might not be RE0, however, though, is because of a, a supposed rumoured leak that came from some news on Twitter, right? And this person said that, again, Dusk Golem, if you guys remember, again, take with a grain of salt. They said that Dusk Golem said that RE0 Remake is going to be revealed in September for release in January. However, when someone pointed, you know, asked Dusk if this was true, Dusk simply replied, no. So, Dusk himself came out and said, no, I never, you know, no. And apparently the guy who posted this saying, he said this on his Discord, and Dusk came out and said, no. So that means, no, it's not RE0. RE0 is not getting revealed in this month, and it's not coming out in January. 
Which leads me to another possibility. We might not be getting any kind of RE real RE game reveal this year. And I think it's best we prepare ourselves for that. Be and here's why. Okay? The rumors are now saying that we're gonna be getting DLC for Dragon's Dogma 2. Okay? And then there's the new uh Monster Hunter game coming out. Literally what in mid early or mid next year, so it's already it's already sound like it's going to be sort of crowded with Capcom games. Do you know what I mean? So why would Capcom want to announce a new RE game unless unless RE9 is revealed and it's coming out it, like later on in mid of 2025? You know, there's no way it's going to be a game coming out in early 2025. So there's a big chance the only thing getting revealed is DLC for Dragon's Dogma 2 and maybe another trailer for Dra uh, Monster Hunter. It could be that, which means we're going to be R we're going to be RE game free for the rest of the year up until a reveal potentially next year in 2025 for a release in 2026 for the, you know, in time for the 30th anniversary. And it kind of makes you wonder what game could it be for the first. And it probably would it probably would end up being Resident Evil 9, wouldn't it? Like, we know it's happening. We, we got the director for Revelations 1 slash RE7 confirming he's working on an RE game. It's most likely 100% RE9. And, I mean, you know, if the rumors, again, if you remember the early rumors for that game, they said that the original cast was going to come back for that. Like, Chris, Leon, Chill, and Claire would be the main characters of that game. You know, if you believe what Dusk said at the time, now rumors are saying that it's Leon and Jill. So something changed, something happened, we don't know what's going on. But the point I'm trying to make is is it's best to get prepared and ready for the potential uh, you know, reveal that we're not getting any kind of RE reveal this year and that we're not getting an RE game next year and that it's gonna the next RE game is 100% coming out in 2026. That's what I'm trying to say. But if we do get a reveal for an RE game at the say of play and it is coming out in January, it's most likely gonna be RE0 saying it could be RE0 and we're not going to get RE9 until maybe and yeah until 2026 and if, if it is meant to be the big game that it's supposed to be having a release on the third anniversary of our you know of, of the original Resident Evil kind of makes sense like maybe I don't know I'm just I'm just throwing out I'm spitballing here but at this point you know my predictions for the reveal were completely wrong for this year you know I kept saying it's going to be revealed in June or July it didn't happen you know Capcom came in and they were like, yeah, we're, we're subverting your expectations. We're not doing that this year. It's like, what happened? Like, what happened? And the only thing that makes sense to me is that they were really focusing on Monster Hunter and Dragon's Dogma. So it's like, there's no space, no room for RE at the moment. But yeah, we're gonna have to wait and see what happens at the moment. You know, we got we got a good two weeks left. So if, if there is a stay of play, you're gonna be getting a lot of rumors now coming out saying, oh yeah, RE9 is getting revealed, RE9 this, RE9 that, and potentially maybe one of the remakes. But until it happens, we're not gonna have a full-on you know, confirmation. So it, it's a waiting game at this point. And that's pretty much what I'm trying to say is that, yeah, we won't know until we know. So yeah, it sucks, but that's, that's how it is. That's what Capcom's done and I am, I am surprised, like, I am, it, it's shocking to me, but there it is, there it is. So yeah, guys, that's my video on, on this whole ordeal. Um, I really, really do, I'm crossing my fingers here that we do get something at a state of play, potentially, even Tokyo Game Show, maybe, we get some sort of confirmation and reveal of a new RE game. I'm hoping it is RE9, or at least Coronica. I'm not too hyped about RE0, mind you. Uh, the good news about RE0, however, is, is that apparently the original team that worked on the original RE0 is in fact part of the uh, side teams that, that worked on RE3. So if RE0 is being developed by them, it's being made by the original team apparently. So you know, for anyone that's worried that they're going to cut corners, it's probably going to be a, um, a, a, a good reimagined accurate take. Though, to be fair, I, I'm not looking for accuracy here. Like, you know, if, if they are remaking RE0, I'm hoping the game is very different and better for it. Because the original RE0, in my opinion, is not that great of an RE game. And story-wise, narrative-wise, lore-wise, I don't think it's that good. Like, I feel like it could be better, so I'm all for them changing things up, switching things up, and making the game, you know, longer, deeper, and better. So, you know, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, that is that, guys, that is that. And uh, that's really all I got to say. So, I hope you enjoyed this, and as always, remember to like and subscribe. 
And yeah, I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and...